Welcome to Prompting for Beginners, the crash course that turns you from someone who just types random requests into a precision prompter who can get clear, consistent results from AI every single time. By the end of this video, you'll learn four things. Number one, what a prompt really is. Number two, the three keys that make a prompt effective. Number three, the most common mistakes beginners make and how to fix them. And number four, how to use one simple framework to write prompts like a pro. So if you've ever opened ChatGPT or any AI tool and thought, why does it never give me exactly what I want? This video is for you. The truth is, prompting isn't about talking to a robot. Prompting is a language. It is about giving clear, structured instructions to a very smart assistant that just happens to take everything literally. When you understand how to talk to it clearly, you unlock the full power of AI. And that's exactly what we're going to do together. So first, what is a prompt? A prompt is simply how you talk to an AI. It's the message you type to tell it what you want it to do. Kind of like giving instructions to a really fast assistant. The words you choose are everything. If you're too vague, the AI will guess. But if you're clear, it'll nail exactly what you meant. Here's what I mean. If you say, write something about dogs. That's vague. The AI doesn't know if you want a story, a poem, or a vet report. But if you say, write a short paragraph about why dogs make great family pets. Make it friendly and easy to read for kids. Now that's clear. It knows what to write, how to sound, and who it's for. That's the power of a good prompt. Clear words lead to clear results. Now let's talk about the four keys to effective prompting. The RCEO framework. It stands for Role, Context and Constraints, Examples and Output. Let's break that down together. Role. You tell the AI who it is in this conversation. For example, you are a senior operations consultant. When you do that, the AI takes on that perspective and tailors its responses like an expert in that role. Next is context and constraints. This is the heart of your prompt. You explain the situation, your goal, and the rules. Who is the audience? What's the purpose? What tone do you want? You can also set limits. Things like word count, tone, format, or what not to include. Constraints actually give the model focus. They're like guardrails for the model's creativity. Then comes examples and output. This is where you show it what good looks like. You can include a short sample, a bullet structure, or even a snippet of the writing style you like. And don't forget to specify the format you want, whether it's bullets, markdown headings, a table, or a paragraph summary. When you combine those three keys, role, context, and constraints, and examples with output, you have the formula for powerful prompting. Let's put it all together. Here's a weak prompt. Write a weekly update. Now, here's a professional one using our framework. You are a communications lead. Write a 180-word weekly executive update covering customer growth, risks, and next week's focus. The audience is time-pressed VPs. Tone. Crisp and non-technical. Include three bullets per section and use markdown formatting. See the difference. The second one tells the AI exactly what role to play, who it's writing for, what to include, how to format it, and how it should sound. That's the kind of clarity that turns AI into your assistant, not your guess machine. Now let's talk about iteration, because the first version of your prompt will rarely be perfect. Start simple, test the result, and then refine. Ask yourself, did it understand the role? Did it hit the right tone? Was it the right length? Then tweak your prompt and try again. Prompting isn't about magic. It's about communication and calibration. All right, let's cover a few common mistakes beginners make so you can avoid them right away. Mistake number one, being vague. You type something like, write something nice, and then wonder why the result feels random. If you don't tell the AI what nice means, it'll just guess. Set a clear goal. Say what you want and what success looks like. Mistake number two, forgetting constraints. You tell it, make it better, but don't define what better means. Better how? Shorter, friendlier, more formal. Add limits like length, format, or tone. That's what keeps your results on target. Mistake number three, skipping examples. 
The AI doesn't magically know your taste. If you never show it what great looks like, it'll just invent something random. So give it a quick example, a sample sentence, or even a short outline. Mistake number four. Treating it like a one-shot task. Prompting isn't a one-shot task, it's a conversation. Once you master those basics, you can move to the pro level using advanced tools like personas, rubrics, and multi-prompt chains. You can say, adopt this voice, calm, professional, slightly humorous. You can tell it, score your own draft for clarity and brevity, then improve it. Or even, first create an outline, then expand each section, then compress it into a final summary. That's where prompting starts to feel like teamwork. You're not just using AI, you're collaborating with it. And that's a wrap on prompting for beginners. Thanks for watching.